Alrighty. Ideas, ideas. Alrighty. <laughs> <laughs>
I see how you got it. Get it. So I'm going to work on getting this piece and to flow into that piece. Now this, I did it like this with these little skinny pieces here, just so we don't have an abrupt change from flat surface to a mountain. I try to get a little bit of illusion of it starting to roll out a lot sooner, and yet yeah. still be able to take advantage of the land, you know, and, and then we get into the mountain. So, what kind of a mountain face are we going for here? Are we doing a dirt? And tree covered face, or are we going to go right into well, uh, sculpted rocks? I think you were talking about on this side of Sarsaparilla, you wanted to make it a rock face, where on the sawmill side is going to be more of a forestry well, yeah. type of area. Sort of. Okay. You got it backwards, though. I do? You do. Oh, okay. This side was going to be the roll up, and then because we got a river right here. Yeah, we do. Yeah, we do. Yeah, yeah. Let's, so uh, we don't have enough room, really. If this is the river uh -huh. right here, we don't have much room for a nice one. No, I no, thought I this side would be better for the rock face, and then your tunnel and portals here yeah. should be nice rock tunnel portals. True that. True and that. on my side over there, I uh, want to do timber lined. Ton of portals. Ah, okay, okay. Hence trying to go into the town. I can dig it. You know what? That sounds like an idea. All right. That sounds like an idea. I kind of like that because you're right on the side of the river there. It is kind of hard to make a sloping mountain there. Yeah, we don't have the room to get a good slope. Right, right, right. So I think that side should be nice and rocky and steep. This side. Okay, I guess I can come back on the camera now that I'm holding, done right. holding That's it. That's right, done holding the camera. Okay. So, hey, if I you guys want one of these, let me know in the comments. We'll get you one. Oh, that's right. <laughs> that's right. Here's nice and comfortable. Nice yeah. cotton and everything. But anyway, back to the show. <laughs> All right, uh, so where we at? So, so yeah, that's basically I got to figure this out. You know, we can even bring this forward some. And uh, I know right here, this is slated for. Oh, oh we're off camera now. Wow, camera now. Boy. <laughs> Kind of hard to film this without a camera person. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, we'll see. Yeah, we'll play it by ear. So I guess the first thing you would have to do is the continuation of the rock face in that right. corner. So I want to slope it up, and, and okay. I don't know, this can come forward a little bit. This is slated to be the cattle pen area. Right, right, and, right. And uh, you know, it would be unheard of to have, you know, the hills because the fencing can go up the hill. The cows can meander on up the hill a little bit. Meander. Meander. That's meander. Right. <laughs> that's a heck of a word. <laughs> Is that like lally gagging? <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right, Alrighty. so I think we should just carry on. Yeah, let's carry on. Continue gluing this down here. Now you got these nice corners in these two pieces here. You didn't want to utilize that for to watch the corner? Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah, they go, they go there. Oh, I see, that's intentional. <laughs> yeah, they, yeah. Well, they weren't lining up when I was looking at it. Yeah, they're supposed to go there and gotcha. now I see what I'm doing here. So that's actually in the wrong spot. So yeah, this is where I need to re reset these. <laughs> it sticks. Something happened here. What happened? That shit ain't lining up anymore. No, uh -oh, that's what happens. You don't mark it. No, no, no. Hold, hold on, hold on. Let me get a piece oh, in oh, here. Oh, oh, oh. That doesn't look so bad. Yeah, but you get a gap here. Oh, yeah. That we can't fill. You gotta be strategic about that now. Oh, that's my problem? That gap is my problem? <laughs> you should see what I had to do over here. <laughs> yeah, there was a... Now, wait a minute, wait a minute. That may not have to be rectified because of the fact of the tunnel opening. Where's the tunnel opening going to be? Yeah. Yeah. Put that back. <laughs> well, the problem is with this moving around all the time, we're never going to get it. Yeah, let me, right. let, me, let me glue this down. All right, so now what you see here, this is the piece that's going to go against the back wall. It'll be situated this way. And that's going to go ahead and cover the uh, electrical outlet. 
it's pinned together and glued, pinned and drying. So I'm going to set that to the side. And what we can see here is our cleaned up surface. We have our town kind of laid out. This is where we're going to set the buildings up. We have them numbered so we know how they go back. We do have to build them in final form. And got this nice little bit of a rise. We're going to take sculpt the mold and well actually we're going to be doing it a do-it-yourself sculpt the mold that I caught online. Oh there we go. A do-it-ourselves sculpt yeah. mold. Yeah. Uh, Roland secret recipe. No it ain't really much of a secret recipe. I just basically paper mache and plaster of Paris. A lot easier than toilet paper. My god. <laughs> yeah. At any rate we'll be doing that. Uh, we'll also do that on this because this is not final form here. If we look at it, it's just the basic beginning. You give the rough shape and then we'll sculpt the mold it nice and give it some character and some realism. And uh, of course paint it and flock it. And make it look all pretty and all. For so, sure, this is just the very basic, the skeletal form. And then, yeah, because we'll be able to take these off the wall if we ever have to move this or get access to that outlet back there and make it a little bit easier to work with. So I got some small hills here that's going to blend into the bigger hill. Okay. And when it comes time to do the tunnel portals, we'll make those out of wood and make a really nice timber lined tunnel portal. Okay, I'm digging it. We'll film that. I have a fellow YouTuber that I follow and uh, we'll, we'll be following his method. He did one scratch built it and uh, came out really nice. I wonder if I saw him. You don't know his name do you? You know he's uh <laughs> yeah I saw he's you the regular <laughs> guy. Model railroader for the regular guy. Alrighty then. It's pretty funny to watch. He's got really good content and I will get his name and channel. You caught me on that. <laughs> yeah I saw you struggling so yeah I pulled the fast one on you man. Yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah. I'm sorry. He's the regular <laughs> guy. But, but he does he models an end scale and uh, he built this really really nice scratch built tunnel portal and uh, wow I, that, that's what I'm after. So we'll do that, but first what we got to do here is we've got everything is kind of pinned and glued. We got to let that set up and then since we did not physically attach it to the layer itself, once the glue is set up we'll be able to pull that off and set it up and really work it, get some contours going, you know, make it all nice, make it look like a real hill and then get it painted for the base and then uh, go ahead and get it scenic. But, that's the first step. And then over here, I kind of would like to extend the one wall of the tunnel portal all the way out, give it kind of the appearance of a retaining wall. Okay, okay. I'm seeing it. I'm seeing the dimensions here. Yeah, it's coming right along. And I myself is done with the sawmill area. Let's Just take a look. Let's switch right, it up okay. here. Oh, oh, okay. And, 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 and we're here. <laughs> oh, I missed you. You got a zoomed way in. Oh, yeah. yeah well, yeah, I got a zoomed right in. All right, do your jump again. Okay, okay. Here we go. There and we're here. <laughs> All right. Okay. Oh, boy. I almost ran into the ladder here. So, tell you what. Let's move this here. All righty. So, as you can see here, we're all done with this area of the sawmill because the sawmill is going to be mounted right about here. You can see how the river is going to be flowing. Almost kind of made the appearance that it cut into the mountain there. I got the two portals there and I got that side of the river done. Now I'm working on this. Got to glue one last section as you can see here. Oh, oh, yep, see I'm pulling it apart a little bit too quickly there. But yeah, coming right along, a little bit more gluing here and there. Did we talk about what we're using to glue this pink foam? Well, uh, so far we're using a several different kind of methods. I'm use, I started off with a regular PVA, El Elmer's glue, or school glue, white glue. Um, and that seems to be a little bit liquid. I got a spot here right behind my control panel and it's still not quite dry. Kind of really disappointed. Yeah, it's like didn't even take it off. Quite disappointed. And then we use this other type of a latex um, silicone or caulk. Oh, oh, latex caulk. Yeah, caulk. And that seems to work better. Very sticky. It grabbed. 
And now we moved on to this uh, Loctite PL300 foam board construction adhesive. And it grabs it. It always grabs it. It just takes a few minutes to dry. So just with any adhesive, you got to wait. It's mm -hmm. the waiting game. So we'll probably have to redo the PVA section, huh? Yeah, yeah. It, well, like the section up here, it took... It, it uh, did hold, It huh? did hold, but it took three days to do so. Three days. Well, yeah. we'll see what it looks like next weekend when we come down. Yeah, oh, it'll, oh, it'll be fine. Because I just glued that, I believe, this morning. You know, so, yeah, I give it another 24 You need some pins to hold it in place? No, no, it's there. It ain't going nowhere. All right. Yeah, it ain't going nowhere. It's all good. <laughs> so, all right, well, we'll press on. We're in the home stretch, and then, uh, I don't know, maybe we all, uh, maybe get some sculpt -a mold going. Show you my little setup, because there really didn't, wasn't definitive on what the ratio from paper mache to plaster of Paris was. So... I'm guessing maybe a one-third paper mache to two-thirds plaster of Paris. Because I did notice that the more plaster of Paris you put in it, the quicker it'll dry. But, yeah, play with it. Uh, there is a guy, like I caught it, it's about to catch me mm -hmm. now. There is a guy out there that does have the paper mache um, do-it-yourself recipe, if you want to call it that. Uh, check it out. I mean, you could just YouTube, paper mache, plaster of Paris, sculpt them old. Yeah, you'll find it. You'll find it. And, uh, yeah, easier than the toilet paper method that seems like everybody's using. But you got to render down toilet paper. I'm sorry. I need my TP. My, I need my TP. <laughs> so I use paper mache. So we'll wrap it up there, and we'll get right back to you. So, we've got our mountains uh, kind of roughed in here, but they're really blocky. So what I want to do now is start carving them and shaping them to get a little bit of a better look to them. And uh, I've got work. It's going to be a mess. Oh yeah, it's, it's, it's going to be quite a bit of a mess. But I've got a little toy here. Should make quick work of it. And uh, we want to kind of get a better look to them before we start putting the actual sculpt mold and doing the final shaping. But, but this should get rid of the blockiness and uh, kind of start contouring them to look more realistic than what they looked out. We'll see how it turns out. 
I think I'm going to start with this area right in here. So let me get the camera set up and uh, we'll start with a little hill. Alright everybody, while Ed's over there taking care of the mountains and sarsaparilla, I'm going to be over here in the sawmill area starting to put down sculpt mold and taking some of my rock faces that I've made out of the Woodland Scenics uh, rubber uh, molds. Sculpt molds, whatever you want to put it, I don't know. But, uh, but yeah, I got a couple of those, so um, yeah, you turn this camera around and show you what I'm doing. Alright everybody, as you can see here, I'm just kind of divvying out some of my do-it-yourself sculpt mold which is just paper mache and plaster of Paris mix one-to-one -one mixture. Kind of put that right on in there. Oh, making a mess, making a mess. Alright, we'll set that off to the side. Start adding a little bit of water at a time. So we don't over mix it. We kind of want a mixture of kind of like a cottage cheese here. 
so we'll uh, just keep adding a little bit at a time. I don't know how much water is going to be required, so this is where you just do a little bit at a time. Yeah, it doesn't take very much water, that's for sure. Yeah, almost like a really thick paste, you know, you can kind of kind of hold on there with your stick a little bit. But that's the kind of consistency we're looking for. All right, as you can see over here, where I put the first little bit down of my little sculpt mold. So I start incorporating the little bricks around the side. So as it's drying, I just kind of set them on in there and go from there. So I'll tell you what, let's scoot it on over to here and let's get this stuff out before it starts drying. So just goop it on. Now I did scuff up the area first with a wire brush to uh, kind of help this stick. It does seem to help. thick and I think we got a winner. Nice. Yeah. I think I'm about ready for some. Uh-oh. Okay. Now, if I was you, I would cover the track. Just saying. Yeah, I got ahead of myself on that one. <laughs> All right, everybody, now that I have the sculpt mold or my do-it-yourself sculpt mold on my layout here, now I'm going to start incorporating the rocks that I made earlier. So um, let's just kind of bring this down onto there, and I can show you what I did here. I just took a hammer and just kind of very sharply and very quickly just break them in half like that. All right, now that I got them all worked up in nice, relatively large pieces to work with, and my sculpt mold is still relatively wet, we're gonna go over here now and just kind of arbitrarily start placing them around. Now the sculpt mold is still quite wet here, so these pieces are going to stick relatively easy. I'm going to have to break up some of these smaller pieces in here. What do we got? What do we got? find the right piece to fit in there. <laughs> oh, there we go. There we go. So 
fill that in. Have to fill that in with a little bit of plastic Paris there. I don't know if that's going to stay there, everybody, but we're going to give it a shot. <laughs> that's setting up right there. Alrighty, everybody. I think I'm about done here as far as putting on some arbitrary rocks here. So, uh, yeah, you can mix up some more sculpt mold. All right. I kind of got the hard edges knocked down. Kind of liking where it's at now when we go over with the sculpt mold on the bottom and then more of a plaster mix on the top so we can actually sculpt, uh, you know, carve in and sculpt some rock looking formations. I do want to protect this back wall here. Don't want to get plaster all over our nice sky and clouds, so I'm going to try some of this wax paper and I'm going to try to tuck some behind there. And hopefully, the idea is we'll splatter the wax paper with all the plaster instead of the nice painted wall. So that's my next, that, that, that's the next thing to do. We should have put this in place before. It's harder than it seems. Oh, the uh, um, black paper? Yeah. Alright, so I got the wax paper up. Now the next thing I want to do is I don't want to get plaster and sculpt mold all over our tracks be pretty hard to clean up especially as it's kind of tucked away in that back corner so I've got some blue painters tape here and I'm just going to take some precautions now to get everything covered up need to extend these a little bit more but while I'm here I've got some gaps here to show you I can zoom in I got a few gaps like here and here and I try to just fill them in with some more foam pieces and that way we don't use up as much of the sculpt -a mold Try to stuff some scrap pieces in. There we go, and then I'll just kind of contour them real quick. All right. Now that that's done, the next step is to mix up some of Roland's special mix sculpt mold. We'll see how this goes. All right, what you got, Roland? I'm ready for it. All right, hold on, everybody. There you go. There's that. Here's a little bit of water. And here's the powder. Huh? What do you do? What do you got? What'd you mix? Like a quarter to Dude, I quarter don't know. water? Or? 
Well, I just started adding a little bit of water at a time until you get to the consistency of what you like saw in the Yeah, or, or cottage cheese. Cottage cheese. You know, everybody used the, the term cottage cheese. Yeah, I'm not a cottage cheese lover, so I would say you you, you like cottage cheese. No, I don't. You don't like oh, cottage, ricotta cottage cheese. cheese. Oh, ricotta? Now I see that. There we go, ricotta <laughs> cheese. And what's your work time? How much did you mix up for over there? Oh, maybe about a little, maybe a little, about twice that, maybe. Yeah, I'd say you start off with that. That uh, that ought to give you a good, and then yeah, you may want to put your spread, the spreader thing. Uh, oh, you can. Oh yeah, that's better than mine. Oh yeah, you may want to put the lid back on this, so you know, <clears throat> real powdery. Because after mixing this up, I can feel it all caked up yeah. in my nose. In your nose. In my nose. So give it a whirl. Yeah, we'll put music to this. I'm really liking this stuff here. Are you digging that uh, yeah. smoke mold over there? I like it. I like it. You digging it? Yeah. Nice. I'm going to need a lot more though. How much we got? Oh, we're going to have to make up a lot more. <laughs> yeah. Though buying it straight outright, it still would have costed a lot more than what than, than doing it yourself. Well, we're all about saving money, doing yeah, it yeah. as cost effectively as possible. That's why I went to. Uh, Hobby Lobby today, so I can pick up some more of the paper mache. There we go. Yeah. Wow. This is uh, yeah. This is pretty good stuff. Oh, you did? Okay. Digging it. I am digging. Of course, I got it all over my hands. Got it on my pants. Hope that'll wash out. Uh, it should. Oh. I if not, I can't do the four. Yeah. <laughs> We're gonna need a lot, yeah. And that's why I tried to kind of sculpt it down so and fill the holes, you know. Because this is barely over the foam. Yeah, but you got your your, your step offs in there too. Not really. It's contoured down. See here? Look yeah. here. Look at that. It's just barely covering the foam. Yeah, I'd say a little bit thicker than that. That should be way okay. Because at this point you can start smoothing it. That it's drying, yeah. you can start smoothing it. Mm -hmm. That's how it got all over my hands. <laughs> All right, did you uh, scrape up the surface? To kind of, well, no, you used the thing on there. Never mind. <laughs> Yeah, that would be a whole hell of a lot better, yeah. <clears throat> so this is pretty much going to stay how it is because this is going to be dirt and grass and whatnot. Okay. And then here is going to be the rock coming up. Oh, okay, okay. Right? Okay, I'm down. I might have some rock here. I'm seeing rock. your vision. Oh, I'm liking this stuff. Dude. That is that is looking pretty cool. Man. It is, it is. And then once yeah, this is painted and the ground cover, up what uh, what little bit we have of the sculpt mold we're gonna have to uh, have to be making some more and I'm liking the outcome as soon as I get my hands washed up I'll grab the camera and I'll show you a nice close-up of uh, what's coming together here so stand by for that all right so as you can see here we've got the nice formation here I'll add some nice rocks 
to the sum of those transitions and then the idea will be that that'll be all dirt and overgrown and then where you still see the pink stepping that'll be more rock formation and we'll work it in and uh, yeah that's the start of it all right so I've come along here with some more of the sculpt mold and as you can see I've gone ahead on the lower portion of the hill where it's a little bit the idea is to have a little bit of a rolling hill building into the mountainside gonna let that dry and now once we paint it I think it's gonna look pretty nice <laughs> 